Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Just finished my workout, just finished my run. Actually, the second run of the day. Did a five mile run this morning, another five miles right now before I'm about to go to actually Muay Thai. So yeah, crazy. But I've got a bit of a story for you today and also a bit of a confession. So I, uh, I was supposed to fast all day today. That was the plan for today. Had a, had a bit of a indiscretion last night and uh, went over what I, what I was planning eating. And so I said, okay, well, I'll fast all day today and sort of reset the mind, get the momentum building up again. You can check out that video on momentum I did a while back for what I'm talking about here. It's important to make these things non-punitive. I have to admit a little bit of it was punitive in my mind. So it's probably why I'm about to tell you this story today. So anyway, so story for, for today, I went, went downstairs to go and do my run. And I walk into the kitchen and what do I see there? I see a bunch of cookies of peanut butter, or actually butterscotch oatmeal cookies, right? And so my plan for today is to fast all day, right? And these cookies are actually ruined. They're actually stuck to the pan. There was some missing flour. So they're actually kind of, kind of disgusting. Like if you haven't eaten very much, they look pretty good, but a normal human being would probably, you know, snub them and maybe, maybe try it, you know, but, but really not, not the best. So I said to myself, you know, I know what my rule is, it's supposed to be to fast all day today, or at least to fast until after my workouts, if that were a normal day, right? Eating one meal a day. Check out my video on that if you're interested. But um, so what do I do? I justify to myself, I rationalize, I say, well, you know what? I already ran five miles today. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do another five mile run. So I'll just like try one of these cookies because I've been wanting to, you know, butterscotch oatmeal, right? Even though they're, they're kind of ruined cookies. And so that's what I say. So I go, I scrape one off of the pan, I eat it. Immediately, my thought goes to, well, you know, I could do another one. So, you know, long story short, probably like 15, 20 cookies later, which by the way, those of you that think that have superior discipline and that's an indomitable will, no, not quite. I, in fact, that's what the lesson of this, of this video is. That's why I'm making this video is, uh, is because I want to tell you about what, what actually makes it so I'm able to be strict and follow my plan, right? So anyway, I shot down most of these cookies. I end up, you know, it probably end up being like 20 cookies to be honest with you. Probably like three or 4,000 calories worth of cookies. Let's, let's be honest here, right? <laughs> now, I did run 10 miles, I'm doing many ties, so, I mean, at the end of the day, if I do, don't eat anything else, I might break even or come out a slight, slight deficit, we'll see. But that's not the point. The point is this, it's like, you might be asking yourself, John, how, if you can't do this, like, if you fail like this, if you fuck up like this, what about me? Like, how, how is this possible? I didn't think that you would do something like this. Well, let me tell you how it's possible. See, the thing is, like, you know, no matter how disciplined and how strong your willpower is, uh, it's, it's always going to be, be weak. And like, anytime you have to make a judgment call, right? So the reason why I'm able to be disciplined is because I eliminate judgment calls from my life, right? If I do, if I have to make a judgment call, I'm always going to make the wrong judgment call, especially if I'm hungry or angry or not feeling good, right? You're going to make bad judgment calls. So that's why it's so important to have rules, right? And not to, not to bend the rules, not to rationalize, not to justify, even though it doesn't matter, right? It's like, you know, I think someone had emailed me one time and they asked this question. They're like, you know, when I'm fasting, is it okay to put a little bit of creamer in my coffee? You know, it's like, it's like five calories or something like that. Will that break the fast? Does that not count? And my answer kind of surprised people because I said, no, it's not okay because that's your rule, right? See, it doesn't matter. The five calories doesn't matter. What matters is that in your own mind, you have made this rule and you think that it's a sin, right? You think that it's, uh, it's breaking your rule. And if that's the case and you do that, then everything becomes a judgment call because it's either a hard and fast rule or it's a judgment call, right? So what happened when I ate that first cookie? Think about it. What happened when I ate the first cookie? Well, I went from the zone, the clearly defined zone of rule of you're not eating today or you're fasting till five, right? I went from that zone into the zone of making a judgment call because you know, what's to say, who's to say one, who's to say two, right? Those are all decisions. Those are not, those are judgments, right? Those are not rules at this point. So I went out of the safety and the freedom to some degree of, of a rule, right? So, you know, Jocko Willink, uh, the guy that wrote, uh, what is it? Um, the thing is like, 
that rule, although it's restrictive, it gives me freedom because I don't have to make judgment calls. And so, you know, when you look at your life, when you look at where you're screwing up and where you lack the self-control, right, you know, and, and, and where you're, you're constantly messing up, look at places where you don't have rules in place, where it's fuzzy, where you don't have a clear rule, right? Uh, you know, another example, if I went out for a run today and I said, I'm gonna run five miles. If I said, I'll just run for a while, right? How many miles am I gonna run? It's probably gonna be like two, <laughs> right? It's not gonna be, there's no way you're ever going out on a run and saying, well, I just wanna do some training for my marathon and you accidentally run 20 miles. It doesn't happen, right? You, if you say, I'm run, the only way you're running 20 miles is if you say, oh, I'm running 20 miles. It just doesn't, you see what I'm saying? So basically, you know, like I said, lesson learned. You know, I, I like to share these kind of failures with you because, you know, I fucked up. So, <laughs> so what? So there's a good lesson and there's something to learn in this. And, and you know, it just reinforced it for myself. I was like, I had to analyze this. It's another good lesson too, because I was thinking about it. So I said, why did I fuck up? Why did I do this? Why would I do this? And, you know, there's, <laughs> to some degree, you could get mad and say, well, why wouldn't you just eat one? That's the wrong line of question. The, the, the question is like, because once you've violated a, a law, once you've violated the rule, you, you could just keep on going, right? It's all a matter of judgment, and you're, you're letting, you're letting your, uh, what you do be controlled by what you what you feel right what you feel is right at the time which is going to be wrong right so so the, the what i had to examine is i said you know the thing that caused this the root cause here was not a, a, a lack of self-control of not being able to stop eating cookies if you're really fucking hungry right you're gonna you're gonna eat a lot of cookies if they're in front of you uh, unless you have a rule and you're obeying the rules so the the root cause of the problem was me not was me making uh, violating that rule, right? And then turning it into a judgment call. So as many times in life as possible, you want to eliminate judgment calls. That's why it's good to have an exact time you wake up in the morning. That's why it's good to have on the calendar the days you're going to work out, what your workout's going to be, to have it logged ahead of time of what you're going to train, right? You know, what are you going to produce in that day? Have those rules and never violate those rules because as soon as you do, it becomes a matter of judgment. So I'll do some crazy shit in my life in order to uh, to keep my rules, right? And some people say, oh, it doesn't matter. It's five calories of creamer in the coffee. It's not gonna make a difference. Yeah, and one cookie wouldn't have made a difference either. It really wouldn't have. Really, think about it, one cookie, not gonna make a difference, right? But what did make a difference? Breaking the rule, because then it became judgment. Same thing, you know, with, with you and your life. If you think that, you know, again, I'll just say one last time, like, you know, a lot of a lot of you think, oh, John, you know, he's just like he must ha he must have some kind of superpower that I don't have, some kind of indomitable will. It must be that that fucking bulldog mindset. You can check out the bulldog video. I gotta always gotta put that, but it's not that. It's it's the ability to make and follow the rules. That's that's what gives you, that's what enhances your discipline way more than than anything else. So, all right, that's all I got for you today. I got a I got a request for you. So. Give me one of your rules, right? Either either rule that you have or that you do not violate that basically emboldens your discipline, right? Or if you don't have one, make one. Make a rule that you're going to follow from now on that you're never going to break, okay? And, uh, and put it down in the comments below. And make sure you click that subscribe button. Click the bell so you don't miss any videos. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.